Hello, it's Raining Plum Bobs back with another video. So today I'm creating the third installment of the Workforce Apartment series. So I've already done a doctor and a social media sim, and so this one is an artist sim. So I made sure that I put a whole lot of art in this house, and the like idea was it of it was that like that one one room was for the artist, and then she also had like a son that I put in the smaller bedroom. And, like, the idea was that the son was blind, and so he, like, had to get a bunch of, like, different, like, things that would help him, like, see better. Well, no, because he can't see, but, like, things that'll help him, like, move around the apartment better. And so the idea was that, like, they were having a lot of trouble finding an apartment that would allow them to, like, install all the different, like, accessibility furnishings and things. And so... Like, they found this landlord that owns this place, and he was like, I've seen your artwork before, you know, if you make art for my different um, apartments so that I can sell them, then I'll allow you to install all your different furnishings and things. And so she made a whole bunch of artwork for the landlord, and then she was able to move in here with her son. And so I think it was kind of like a very like nice, like sweet kind of story. And there's a whole lot of art in this apartment, too, because I wanted to make sure that it really, like, like featured her personality and everything. So it is a two-bedroom, two-bathroom. One bathroom specifically for the mom and the other for the son. The one with the son, I mean, like, we don't have things that are specifically for, like, blind or deaf people or anyone with some sort of disability. And so I kind of had to just kind of, like, make it seem like we did. So, you know, like, the talking toilets, I kind of used that and made it seem as if it was some sort of, like, I don't know, thing that would help him see or maneuver around the apartment. Just kind of, you have to kind of, like, make things up and kind of, like, go with the flow. So, at this point, like, uh, the BB cheats were kind of being weird. Well, they weren't being weird. I just realized that they weren't even on. And then I was like, oh, no wonder this is so difficult for me. And so then I, like, put them on and then everything started working again. So this apartment, I think, is very nice. I mean, at first, I was kind of, like, disappointed with the kitchen because I felt like an artist might have, like, a brighter furnishing in the kitchen. But, I mean, the counters and everything already come with the apartment, and they couldn't be picky, really, about what they wanted. So it ended up being fine, I think. But I don't know. I think, I think the apartment's very cute. I would honestly live here, like, except for, like, the whole bunch of artwork on every single wall. Cause like I like art on my walls, but I don't need like every single wall. <laughs> but I think it looks nice. It kind of matches their like personality, so I think it fits with the entire theme of the house and everything. And yeah, so now we're working on the living room. I kind of I spent a little time going through each of the couches, but that is what I ended up going with in the end. I don't know. I think everything kind of like matches and like fits together, even though it's kind of like mismatched, you know. But, I mean, I tried to include as much, like, artistic things as I could. We don't necessarily have a lot of art stuff. I mean, we do have, like, the easels and, like, the little garage that you can paint on and stuff like that. But we don't necessarily have, you know, a bunch of a bunch of stuff, you know? So you kind of have to make do with what you have. And that carpet that I placed there, for, I had, for some reason, I had never seen that before, like, in my entire time of playing The Sims, which is, like, 20 million years or whatever. And so I found that, I was like, oh my gosh, this is really pretty, I'm going to use this now. So I put it there, I also put it there. On the floor, I felt like it kind of matched, I mean, not matched, it looked like it was painted, you know? So I thought, artist, painting, you know what I'm saying? It works. But and you know, I don't really know. I don't really have any stories for you today. What did I do today? I kind of, I drove my sister to school, because she had to do some school work. Oh no, I didn't drive her. My mom drove her, but I had to go. Um, we drove her to school. My other sister's not here. She's she's in Nigeria, just kind of visiting with my dad, and then the rest of us are here. I don't. I think they're they're coming back very soon. I just don't know the specific day, because I have not been paying attention to that type of stuff, which I kind of should be, but it's okay. So now we're working on the mom's room. Uh, I think it looks very pretty in the end. It's very colorful again, because you know, artist color. You know, it matches. It works. But I think this is a nice apartment. I think this room, I would also I would also live in this room, too. I mean, except for, like, the sparkles on the floor, I would not do that. Because, like, 
imagine if you had all those sparkles on your floor and then your floor gets dirty, like how are you going to vacuum that? You can't vacuum that. You can't sweep that either. So you're just kind of stuck with like dirt on your floors and sparkles on your floors. But I feel like the sparkles would not mask the dirt. So it's not very practical, but it, it's cool. <laughs> it's fine. It works. But um, yeah, I think I think this is nice. I think oh, I say I think too much. I put the artwork in like some now, some at the very end. I like to sometimes just go through all of the decorations in the apartment and then put them in like at the very end of the build just to add more like detail and clutter. Because if there's no clutter, I feel like the house doesn't look like it's necessarily lived in. It just kind of looks like a show house, you know. So I wanted to just. Put, I like to put artwork and clutter and different things that just make the apartment look like lived in, you know, like they've been in there for a long time. And, you know, that's just the kind of idea that I had for it. So uh, the bathrooms, they're actually like one of them is kind of basic. But the second one, which is right next to the living room, you can kind of see it here, which is it's empty, though. It's it's a different shape than I've ever done a bathroom before. And I kind of like it because it, it's very big. It does have a lot of space. And that honestly could be converted into a bedroom if one really wanted to. But I feel like, I don't know, the shape of it was something I just never done before. And I've been trying to, like, practice making rooms that aren't, like, the same shape. And, you know, because I feel like no one's room is the same. Everyone has, like, different things in their room that kind of, like, are, like, unique to their own personality. So I kind of want to, like, Put that in my builds more that way they just they kind of like speak for themselves you know so now we're working on the boy's bedroom um he wants to be like a musician was kind of my idea so i put like those boy band posters on the wall i have like a violin in there just some other stuff you know it's just like a basic kids room i mean i couldn't do i wish i had kids room stuff because then i could probably do like a lot more but I feel, I think as like, as the channel grows, I will definitely buy the other stuff packs. That way my builds can like vary in decoration and design and whatever. Also, can you look at that floor? I've, I've seen that floor before, but I really use it. That floor is so pretty. Like, I just kind of want to like, I don't know, the color of it, the floor, just the texture. It's so pretty. Like, I just, this is why I just love The Sims, because you can tell how much detail and effort and work they put into it. I don't know. It's beautiful. EA, you do a great job. <laughs> I can't ask for anything more of you. Well, actually, I can ask for seasons in university, but this is great. This is great, what we have right now. <laughs> uh, anyways, I, I kind of, I've been, like, kind of going places just recently, just in my life and whatever. And I kind of like to wear, like, I don't wear jewelry ever. For just because like jewelry is so difficult to put on like I was trying to put on a bracelet actively for like five minutes and I just couldn't do it because it was made for someone with four hands but I only have two hands so what am I supposed to do how do you put a bracelet on yourself so then I had to call my sister and ask her to help me put it on because I couldn't put it on and it was just so difficult so I never liked to wear jewelry ever but I mean, I kind of do want to wear it when school starts just to kind of like vary my outfits and things. Oh, because I did, I, I went to the mall today and I've been shopping. I went to Primark, Primark or Primark guys, I don't know. I'll leave a poll because I like doing that a lot. Primark or Primark, I don't know. I think, I say both, honestly, it just kind of depends on whatever I'm feeling like doing. This is the bathroom I was talking about though. That, not this one, the other one, that looks, you know, it's kind of, the shape is just different or whatever. I kind of like it better that way, though. I like it better than this one. Although, I do love putting half walls in my builds. They're so, like, versatile, and you can use them for, like, so many things. Because, like, I have, like, trouble sometimes coming up with ideas for builds or whatever. That's why I like to do series. That way, it's, like, easier to kind of, like, know what you want to do. But, like, I don't know, it's kind of hard just coming up with something to do. Because I see, like, builds that other people do, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's such a great idea, you know? And it's like, I probably could build it if I really tried hard, but I just never think of building it, you know? So it's kind of difficult. But I think I have an idea for a build that I want to do. I think it's going to be really cool. So I'm, I don't know when that will come out, maybe, like, three or four days-ish. 
and when it does I'll tell you guys that that was what I was talking about in this video so now we're just kind of doing some basic touches I do end up putting a lot of furniture on the uh, porch thing I kind of like having a porch in an apartment it's just it, it gives you like that outdoor space to breathe when you're like trapped in a com in a compact little area you know I just put some like couches a table to eat you know just some basic stuff that'll make your apartment look fancier-ish, you know? So anyways, the video's almost over. I hope you like it. If you liked it, press the like button. I say like too much, but then again, that's no surprise, I guess. Um, subscribe and comment and do all those things. And I, I came up with an outro, but then I forgot it. So I, I think I'm just going to do a new outro like every single week. I mean, every single day. Because honestly, I can't come up with something that I like. I'm indecisive, like you know this. I like to do different things each day. I can't do one outro, so I'll just do multiple. So I guess the outro for today is, I'll see you later guys, because the video's over and I have nothing else to say. Bye bye